My name is Michael Waltz and I'm a resident physician in the Department of Dermatology at Mayo Clinic Rochester. I'm the lead author of an upcoming review entitled Human Herpes Viruses 6, 7 and 8. This review is going to appear in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Human herpes viruses are very common and the seropositivity of some human herpes viruses is nearly universal in both adults and children. Many people are familiar with the classic herpes sores. However, it is interesting how many diseases are in fact associated with the human herpes viruses. Our review focuses on the human herpes viruses 6, 7, and 8. These viruses in particular have associations with diseases that have interesting skin manifestations. We discuss these diseases and their potential viral links. We also discuss viral diagnostics and antiviral treatments. We provide a summary to which clinicians can refer when they suspect one of these human herpes virus associated diseases. We discuss basic virology, epidemiology, the diseases themselves and their cutaneous manifestations. The review has some excellent pictures which we hope will provide an example of what these diseases can look like in practice. We also discuss uh, viral diagnostics and detection tools. Clinically, awareness of these detection tools will be increasingly important as more and more clinicians manage patients who are chronically immunosuppressed and who are more likely to develop viral disease. Finally, we also discuss antiviral treatments and provide an outlook of what clinicians can expect in the future. Patients can expect increasingly sensitive and specific diagnostic tools which can accurately detect the presence of a virus. Currently, many of the available detection methods are only utilized in large academic centers. However, in the future, they might become more widely available, and clinicians will likely make use of them so that they can deliver personalized treatments to their patient. For example, if a virus was suspected and found, let's say in a uh, transplant patient, then specific antiviral treatment could be instituted. If the virus was absent, then the side effects and cost of such treatment could be saved. Research is being done across the board, from basic signs to bedside treatments. First, we need to better understand the pathogenicity and the mechanism by which these viruses cause disease. Currently, much of the available data only points toward an association rather than causation. Second, we need cheaper, more widely available viral detection tools. And finally, we need more specific antiviral treatments with less toxicity and increased specificity, which ultimately is most important to patients. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.